Hi, I'm Luke Freeman. And I'm Hannah Broderud. And um, we're here to share something exciting with you. As we've been talking with so many leaders, our existing clients, people in our community, um, businesses are facing a very specific challenge right now. And it has to do with both you know, economic factors, some of the fallout from the pandemic, the great resignation, reshuffle, all the things that have happened in the last couple of years, where talent is hard to find, to attract and retain, especially for certain industries. And what is happening because of that is there's a leadership vacuum and people are getting promoted into leadership roles for the first time who don't have any experience in leadership or even in the function they are being asked to lead. Uh, they don't have the necessary skill set yet to be effective leaders. And so there's this growing swell of need out there for real intentional leadership development and support. So at Purpose and Performance Group, we put our heads together and um, a lot of the work we've been doing over time, we've kind of put it together in a structure that's going to help to address that challenge. Uh, so my colleague Luke here, who's one of the architects of this program, is going to share a little bit about how it works and how it might help you and your organization. Yeah, so we call this program the Leadership Culture Ignition Program. And le a leadership culture is really the outcome that we're going for. And what do we mean by that? Well, leadership culture is one in which every team member in the entire organization identifies as a leader. Even if they're only leading themselves, they understand what leadership is, what leadership expectations are inside the specific organization that align with your values, align with your purpose, and they understand the skills that they need, the leadership skills for whatever role that they're in. So that's a big change process for a lot of folks. So we've broken it into this tiered program. And the first tier is really, how do I lead myself? It's designed for every employee, every new employee who gets onboarded to really learn what is leadership? How do I lead myself? What are the expectations for me? But also to paint the picture of this is the leadership journey you can take here. Look, here are the steps that you can walk along. Um, here are the expectations that we have for the leaders across the entire span of the organization. The second level is for supervisors. So these people that Hannah mentioned that are getting promoted into leadership roles and might not have any formal leadership training. So we say, okay, you're not just leading yourself anymore. Now you're responsible for leading others. What does that mean? What does it mean to lead others? What leadership style fits with our organization? What behaviors, what skills, what uses of your time are going to change from when you were an individual contributor? Because we all have experienced that kind of sick you know, game where it's like, hey, what got me here, I'm realizing is not going to get me yeah. success at the next level. So we help give them a roadmap for what leadership looks like. The third tier is really around departmental or function managers. So at that level, people are having to lead leaders. And if you're leading other leaders, you need to know enough about leadership that you can train leadership, you can coach other leaders, and you have a real clear philosophy about what it is that you're training and coaching. And then that very last level is really for executive leadership. So executive leaders have to be clear about their purpose, the purpose of the organization. How do they create visions that are exciting and that are strategy aligned? And how do they know enough about leadership, know enough about coaching skills that they can coach throughout the entire organization really effectively? So in all of these tiers, we cover things like coaching skills for leaders so that you can take a coaching approach rather than a directive management approach. We cover emotional intelligence. The work of a leader is work that requires introspection and emotional intelligence. If we're going to show up differently as we grow in our careers, we have to reflect internally. And then we talk about things like, what's a healthy team? How do I promote healthy conflict? How do I promote trust? How do I get a team to commit to a shared vision? So as we have built this program, we really think that it can be tailored to a lot of organizations, put your unique values, your unique strategy into the program, and then this can be implemented and be sustainable to build that leadership culture for the long haul. 
Yeah. Thank you so much, Luke, for breaking that down. I'm super excited about this. I think it addresses um, such a big challenge right now and it'll be fun and exciting. So we would love to talk more with you about it if this sounds like something that could help support the leaders in your organization. Um, you can reach out to us, find us um, on our website, purposeandperformancegroup.com. Email us directly at info at purposeandperformancegroup.com. Uh, and we'd love to have a conversation with you.